I came to Atlanta in 1969 which was a wonderful transition moment um, for the city because everybody knew that Maynard Jackson was getting ready to be elected vice mayor and that after that he was going to be elected mayor. So there was a lot of um, excitement in the town. I went to work um, for Maynard Jackson in the um, first black administration, which was wonderful. Um, I got to know Shirley Franklin, who became um, our first female mayor of Atlanta. I got to know Andy Young, whose work I certainly had known from the movement before I got here. They they knew that I was doing political work, that I was doing community organizing work, that I was helping them register people and writing speeches for candidates, but they didn't realize that I was also writing poems, writing plays, writing books. And when they discovered it, um, they were not only supportive of what I was doing, but I think they actually felt, as I did, that I was the person who was going to be able to write about this time, write about the city, write about the kind of people who were making those changes in a way that would allow other people to see how extraordinary the events that were taking place um, here were, were at that time and were going to be. So that I began to share my work with, um, with these people that I was meeting. I um, did some teaching. My friend Kenny Leon became the artistic director at the Alliance Theater, so I did three plays here and have just really found this to be a place um, where there is definitely a place for a writer. One of the things that meant a lot to me um, was when Shirley Franklin was the mayor um, and she had been a friend of mine for many years. And I was so pleased that after I got Babylon Sisters done, I sent copies to Shirley. Um, and she told me that after that, she would give copies of the book to people who came here um, from other countries and wanted to know what it felt like to live in Atlanta. What was Atlanta really like? She also called me one day and said, I'm getting ready to leave town. I'm going to China. I think she was going to China. And she needed 10 copies of the book because she wanted to take it with her to give to people to show them what it was like in Atlanta. Atlanta. I don't know who in China is reading Babylon Sisters, but that's a great gift to a writer to have the mayor of your town say, I want to give people your book so that they can see what we're really like.